Out here on the PGA Tour, Tour players have access to lots of different wedges in terms of combinations of loft, sole configuration, all different kinds of things. And I'm here with Aaron Dill from Titles. And Aaron, when it comes to pitching wedges, what's the most popular loft and uh, sole configuration out here? Well, that's a great question. 46 degrees of loft is the most popular. It's just kind of the way the irons have been going. Everything's getting a little stronger. So 46 is the most common loft we're doing with our wedges. And then the F grind, which is a really basic, simple sole. Mm -hmm. If you look at it, it's really just about kind of some forgiveness, um, a little bit of versatility, but this is the loft of wedge that really doesn't require a lot of manipulation of the face. So nice, basic, simple sole, feels good keeps you low on the face, keeps your spin high. So in a lot of ways, how much is this just an extension of the irons that the guys are probably playing? It absolutely is. So right off the nine, this comes into play. The beautiful thing about this is that it's got a spin mill groove in it. So if you're the kind of player that experiences some flyer lies from time to time, this keeps that spin up. So that manageable number you're trying to achieve, get that a little more often. And when we transition then into a gap wedge, now I've noticed that retail gap wedges have gotten stronger. It used to be that was a 52, maybe 53 degrees, but as irons, as you noted, have have gotten stronger. I would imagine even out here, a gap wedge loft has probably strengthened. What is the most popular gap wedge loft in, in sole configuration? It's 50 degrees in the F grind. Again, very simple in how we use it, right? So, you know, if we're talking about today's irons, we're making them stronger. Guys want to hit a little further. As a wedge designer, we want to work with the iron team. So we work hand in hand to try and figure out the best way to do it. 50 degrees, 12 degrees of bounce is the most common one out here for us. Uh, it again kind of bridges the gap in the distances, but also again offers a very forgiving, great feeling soul. And now if we transition into sand wedges, I would imagine we're going to get a little bit more versatility. Sand wedges obviously are not just used in sand and in bunkers, but are used from a variety of different short game situations. What are the most popular loft and sole grind configurations out here? So we offer quite a few different options. Yeah. Um, that's the one thing I love about our little our little wedge brand is uh, we're really about options. We want to make sure that everybody has the right tool for them. So I've got uh, four grinds here. I've got the M grind, the S grind, the D grind, and the F grind. Okay. Um, all are special and unique in their own ways. The M grind is eight degrees of bounce. That's the most versatile, meaning the most um, uh, green side friendly, it has the least amount of bounce, offers a, a lot of uh, flexibility to open up the face. And then as we jump up to the 10S, this is just a little bit more bounce. It's very basic. It's got a ribbon on the back, so you can be creative if you want to. And then we get into this D grind, which is really interesting. So if you're a little steeper on the square face shots, you've got plenty of bounce in the front. But again, the polishing in the back allows you to open up the face and hit some of those creative shots you need to. And then the 14F, which is big, forgiving, easy to hit, confidence building. Believe it or not, that's actually one of the number one wedges out here on the PGA Tour. And it's just for that exact reason. I mean, guys, regardless of how good they are, they want some forgiveness. Um, and that's really where we where we shine is this one here, the 14F, the 10S, and the 8M. Those are the three most popular for us, and they're actually spread about thirds. And I'm going to give you a quick little pop quiz. Can you name off what sole configuration and what loft if we get into, for example, the sandwich for Jordan Spieth? He's a 10S, 56 10S. And Justin Thomas? 56 14F. Okay. Uh, Will Zalatoris? Uh, he's a 54 10 S. Okay, the man knows his stuff. Now, in terms of sole configurations, what are we looking at once we get into the lob wedges? So now we get into five grinds. And again, as we start to increase loft, it's important that we increase the amount of different skews and, and grinds and bounces that we offer because guys, they need that. You know, this week we're on Kikuyu grass. It's very unique. It's got a weird feel to it. So guys want to make sure they have something that fits with that. Um, one of the more common ones is a low bounce option is the L grind. So we've got the L grind, which is four degrees. You've got the 8M. That's probably the most popular for us uh, in terms of kind of the, the in-stock models. 10S, the 12D, and the 14K. So if you're going to be in the market for some new wedges in 2023, make sure you go and get yourself custom fit for your next set of wedges. Perfect. So now just keep that stuff there. I'm going to turn okay. this off.